Good day everyone, John from the Worship Portal here with an update on this, the cheapest guitar from Sweetwater. Now it's been a little while since we've seen this guitar. That's because we've had multiple moves over the past year. In fact, I've lost count of how many times we've had to move in the past year. I think it's four or five. But this project is one that has had to go on the back burner until we settled down. So my last video on this was just over a year ago in late September of 2020. Since then, I had acquired all the parts actually pretty quickly for what I wanted to do to this guitar. It was just about settling down so I can find a shop or a luthier that I trusted to get it done. When we finally settled down in June of this year, I finally decided to get this done. So I started calling around guitar techs in the area and either they wouldn't call me back or they said that they were too busy and weren't taking new clients right now. So in the end, I decided to take it to the nearby guitar chain store. After all, it's only a pickup swap and some pretty basic upgrades and setups. What could go wrong? So when I went into my local uh, central guitar store, uh, the tech seemed very confident about what I wanted to do. He understood where I was going. He understood why I was pouring a little bit of money, like not a crazy amount of money, but a little bit of money into a $139 guitar. And he said he could get it done once the parts came in, probably in two or three weeks. So that began four months of him not contacting me, of uh, telling me issues with uh, getting parts in and ordering and issues with the guitar and telling me about all of these sort of convoluted fixes. The main issue that we ran into is that the bridge pickup I supplied was a standard size pickup, but it was shorter than the original that Epiphone had put in this, which means it couldn't get high enough to actually pick up the strings properly. So the tech told me he needed his buddy, his words, to 3D print something to fix that. So after four months of this back and forth of him not contacting me and me trying to get an update and him saying that parts are still in order and they're taking ages, all of this kind of stuff, I finally got him to say, yes, it's done. Come pick the guitar up. And honestly, I was kind of excited because I wanted to see what the 3D part that they had to print was because I thought that whole issue and what we did to fix it would make a pretty interesting video here on the channel. So I was really excited to see what they had come up with. But when I got there, I wish I took a picture, but this is the artist's rendition of what I saw. This is the original pickguard that came from the factory with this guitar. The reason it's not on there right now is because as you might be able to see, they routed out the bridge pickup in a horrible way. It's not straight, it's not clean. Then what they did is they put a black humbucker pickup ring around this and screwed it in there. And then they put the single coil onto that to raise it up high enough. It looked horrible. I was not happy when I came in and I saw that. I'm up for getting repairs done and kind of it looking maybe a little weird. Like that brings character, that brings a story, but it looked horrible. So as you can imagine, when I opened the case for the first time and saw this, I was fuming. I questioned what the 3D printed part was that his buddy had printed up because from what I could see, it was just a stock pickup ring and a few screws and a really horribly routed pickup cover. Like what was this 3D printed part that I was waiting months for? I just couldn't understand it. If it had looked okay, I probably wouldn't have minded. But the fact is it just looked like garbage. He then tried to justify it by saying that I told him, make it work no matter what. Not only did I not say this to him, but even if I did, this is never acceptable. The other part that I didn't really understand is that I told him when I brought this in that I was a YouTuber, this was a project guitar that I had bought from Sweetwater, I was upgrading and I might be giving away, it's gonna be on camera, it's gotta look good. So the fact that he wanted this repair to represent his work and his very large company's work is just, it just blows my mind. After a lot of back and forth, he still thought he did a great job. So I told him, look, if you can get a new pick card in for me, just don't put the rear pickup back in. Just don't put it, just leave it blank, leave it empty and I'll pick it up and it'll be an interesting story. He agreed. He said it'd be about a week to get that part in and to do the repair. And to his word, it was. It was a week and I had the guitar back here at my home. 
And that's where this is at today. I was planning on giving this away if it played well, if it looked good, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but honestly, with what happened at the chain store uh, and with how it is right now and how it plays, probably not gonna do that. I think it's better as a story guitar, as something that's uh, I'll laugh at on stream. And I think it doesn't look too bad without the bridge pickup. It looks kind of cool, I think. I am still gonna do some follow-up videos on this to kind of wrap up the cheapest guitar from Sweetwater series with how it sounds, how it plays, the final look, how much I ended up spending to make it look like this, and was it worth the four months of pointless repairs that it went through. So look out for those in the coming weeks. Thanks so much for listening to me rant about this repair from this central guitar store chain. Uh, thank you for those who support me on Patreon for making projects like this possible. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.